Hello to everybody out there and thank you again for being part of our webinar. Thank you Carsten and thank you Anne for your really, really interesting insights um, sharing with us. And let's start with the third part of the webinar today. It's about eliminating routine work and having more time for thinking. And this is done by using the example of uh, strategic brand management in, in Solid3. Solid3 is, um, as Carlos mentioned, a, a software platform with uh, you are able to manage processes like strategic planning, strategic marketing planning, strategic brand management planning, all these processes um, with more than just key figures to collect and to analyze and to plan. So, our customer example is um, about a globally active industry leading company. It's with a turnover of around about 79 billion US dollar and it's more than, actually more than 170, uh, 27,000 employees. So it's a really, really, really large company. It's a complex company and uh, it's about the complexity of the brand management inside this company. So we have to manage with our method around about 300 brands worldwide, 40 brands in Germany and all these brand products and services are from superior quality and uh, the strategy behind the project and behind the, the method to handle all these brands worldwide is strengthening of uh, the umbrella brand to support the performance of the individual product brands. So as we started the project we thought about the really, really time and cost intensive planning without uh, using a software and using a method. So we just focusing, we're just focusing the German market with 40 brands and there's a rough estimation of 40, uh, of 50, 45 slides which are used for representing the brands and planning the brands and every single slide um, has an invest of one hour work so that's really a rough information so uh, it's about 1800 hours every year every planning period and every time again for 40 brands so if you put a multiplier of 10 to that you will be uh, you will have uh, 18000 hours so it's a huge amount of time and therefore cost intensive planning so we really want to decrease this time and cost intensive planning and we started the project by setting up an Excel for the brand architecture of the existing brands we have to manage. So it's it's spawned by the high influence of an umbrella brand to the added value of an individual brand. So there are one, two, three, four, five categories inside this brand architecture and one uh, plus one category we will see a little bit later. So we started with all these brands with, with the sole presence of umbrella brand. So there are no individual product brand existing. The product is run completely under the umbrella brand and it uh, has to be take, th thinking about taking measures to develop added value is desirable. The next category of brands inside the architecture is um, brands with an umbrella brand but including individual brands. So it's an umbrella brand remains to be presented predominantly and the individual brand is already given its own place. However, individual positioning is not is not yet possible. So the third category it's an individual brand plus umbrella brand. So the individual brand can already position itself independently and the reference to the umbrella brand however is still necessary and therefore corporate design needs to for example corporate design needs to follow the umbrella brand. The fourth category is an outstanding individual brand with low present of umbrella brand. So the individual brand is increasingly independent of umbrella brand. Reference to umbrella brand is mandatory, but however only in form of a logo, for example, without any further corporate design requirements. 
The fifth category is really the sole presence of an individual brand. It is completely independent and the reference to umbrella brand is not necessary anymore. So consumers are not made aware as to which company owns the product. And all the other brands with no clear positioning has to be reassessed. So if the brand cannot be placed in, in any of these other five fields, it needs to be checked whether the brand adds value or whether it should be removed from the portfolio. So this was one of the setup steps in the project to design the brand architecture Excel with these five plus one category to sort the brands with aspect to the added value of an individual brand and with reference to the umbrella brand. The second step in setting up the project was to define two different roles of brand management responsibility. So it's following the, the top down and bottom up approach used in all our planning processes, if it's uh, regardless if it's brand management or strategic planning, we always have some kind of top-down approach and bottom-up approach. The definition, definition of the top-down role here is brand champion. The brand champion is a person who is responsible for the development and for the performance and communication of the umbrella brand. And the bottom-up approach is realized by setting up a so-called brand manager. And the brand manager is a person responsibility for the promotion and marketing of one or more commercial brands, including target group analysis, campaigns, and coordination of all the other activities geared towards achieving goals. So these are the two most important roles in our method, the brand champion and the brand manager. So if you take a first really quick look into the Solid3 software, um, you can see some kind of planning structure here. It is called by presetting for a special brand worldwide. And these planning structure facilitates the top-down specification and bottom-up data input. Behind this presetting dialog, you can see some so-called digital questionnaire topics like the budget of the brand, the relations, the performance, the positioning, the design, the brand evaluation, all these chapters of this brand management process are used to put in data with aspect to a special topic like the uh, forecast of the budget or the brand evaluation. We see some minutes uh, uh, some minutes later, you, you see some example for these um, digital questionnaires. So there are some information, really, really uh, less information, which are which are um, made by the top management. So it's it's gray shaded. You you can see that at the example of our screenshot. So it's a gray shaded fields like the first uh, registration date or the legal owner inside who, which business unit is the legal owner of the brand, who is the brand champion and who is uh, the brand manager. This is information given top down by the management, which cannot be changed by the brand champion or the brand manager during the brand management planning process. So this is information which is really used by setting up our system. So if we take a look at the aims of a, of, 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 of a Solid3 supported brand management process here. So we have three important aims which, which are the following. So it's about the creation of a so-called brand ID card. It's about ensuring a smooth workflow while managing more than 300 brands. And and for me, or I, I think for the customer also, the most important point is to create an automatically a brand portfolio, which um, is using all the information collected by the brand ID cards and the digital questionnaires um, we were seeing in the next step. So maybe let's take a look into the creation of a so-called brand ID card. It ensures the consistent data collection and evaluation across all the brands. So the brand data is available at a glance and can easily be compared. So it's necessary to 
to put some abstraction in the brand data information to be able to compare all the different brands in these companies. So this abstraction is made by the following information. For example, it's uh, the brand name and this specific project was the brand name, the owner of the brand, the division or business unit, which is the legal owner of the brand, the brand manager and a short description of the brand strategy like the individual product branding or the independent of corporate umbrella brand, establishing a unique brand name and identity. It's just a short example. The budget, which is planned for the following year. So it's here about 250,000 euro. The role and reason why the budget has to be allocated. It's about competitive advantage here. The industry and the estimated brand value and some information about the past success. For example, the brand value increased by 8.3% over the last three years. So this is an ID card which has to be set up for every single and individual brand. Um, so imagine the thousands of brands which has to be managed by such processes. So it, it results in creating more than 3000 brand ID cards. So the next step is to think about ensuring a smooth workflow. So with our solution Solid3, we are guiding the brand manager through the entire brand management process. So um, it's giving him at every point of time the confidence that all the relevant data has been considered and the responsibilities and lines of communication are documented, ensuring a free flow of information. If we take a look inside the first step of this workflow, it's always about setting up the responsibilities for the brands. It's about the resources like allocating of budgets, the personal and time for the brand management and it's about the documentation. So each step of this planning process is documented and the lessons learned are added and are available for the next planning period. So just um, a quick example and um, an insight for you how we are creating these digital questionnaires which are collecting all these relevant brand information in a structured way. So the Solid3 is based on questionnaires and these questionnaires are, are designed to fit the individual strategic planning process. It's not some kind of standard questionnaires but individual questionnaires for the individual customer specific planning process. We are calling these, these um, first step of creation these questionnaires mock-ups so it's about um, it's, it's something we the customer is able to work with so you can move some elements inside these mock-ups so what we see here is um, decision the, the, the user has to make for for umbrella brand or individual brand concerning the competences, the benefits, the personality, the brand stylistics or the value chain. And if we are designing these mock-ups, it's coming back to our company and the result of this mock-up is a so-called questionnaire which is ready to use and which can be run at our software solution. And um, this is a very smart way to design these questionnaires without writing tons of words or tons of specification documents. So this is something everybody is able to handle with. It's, uh, it's not so difficult to understand. And the result of it is uh, a specific questionnaire used for structuring the brand information. So if the user is thinking about how, how is the way coming to the decision if it's an umbrella brand or an individual brand. So we are offering some so-called helper dialogues here just for example for components, competences and these helper dialogues assist the user in filling out the questionnaire. So it's not only about thinking putting the right information into the system but there is a way to describe how the user is able to come to the right decision and it's just about 
putting the right question at the right place. So do we offer a high quality chemical? So how is the impact of our offer to our customer business? And if the user is answering these, these helper questions, the result of all these answers will be um, if it's if it's an umbrella brand or it's an individual brand. So this is a more guided way to come to the right information in the planning processes. And of course, it's ensuring high data quality because um, the, the way of thinking behind the decision is more transparent than just putting the information into the system. And at the end of the day, if all these information is structured in digital questionnaires and putting into a database and uh, it can be analyzed by software, it's, it's always the same and it's uh, independent from the kind of processes. It's the same thing at strategic planning. It's the same thing at strategic brand management process. Uh, the, we are able to create in an automatically way a brand portfolio and this brand portfolio provides an overview of the positioning of the added value of the potential and of the level of consumer recognition of the individual brands. So if we are doing that in our way, you have to put some some really small information into the system like the brand name, how high is the potential, how high is the current brand value, the brand reputation, some comments, some explanations there. You can put some text information into the systems and you, 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 you are doing that for all these brands you are responsible for and collecting this information of all these digital questionnaires is resulting into a brand portfolio, which is uh, an Excel again. Um, on the left side, it's uh, the potential of the brand from, from low to high and the current value of the brand uh, from low to high. And um, for example, the size of the bubble could indicate the level of the brand recognition and the bubbles for itself can be customized to, to all these display brand logos, for example. And just remembering the huge amount of brands you are planning in uh, such a process so it could be a very helpful insight generated by the software to see it um, in just on a quick view like the so-called brand portfolio. So that's the end of the process if we are uh, if we have, have finished the data collection step and um, this is uh, all these further steps the decisions which are made on this brand portfolio is uh, nothing we can we can really um, we can really assist by software, but the decision base is generated from our software. So this is about a short introduction into uh, software-based planning processes, and uh, you you are maybe you are able to. Um, understand the way of digital questionnaires and generating information from that. So if you have any other questions or if you are looking for further information, you can write us an email, you can give me some personal information. So it, I'm looking forward to hearing some interesting questions from you. Thank you very much and um, have a nice week and um, see you again on our next webinar with orange, green and water. Bye bye.